This is a Love Life Horoscope Terry for Scorpio from January 13th to 27th, 2022. Let's get to it. What do we got going on for you in the next two weeks? The Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles. And the Hermit wanted to come out. There's, there's something that that you, you're you're looking to gain clarity on. It's like an offer that was sent out. You will be get, getting clarity on an offer that was sent out. This person, there may have been stagnation. You may be feeling left out in the cold. You may be feeling isolated from. They may be at a distance. There's the horse. Perhaps distance is the issue, but it's... Let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles for them. What's this about? For them? Equilibrium. For you? Spirituality. This is someone that, that feels this pull towards you. I'm getting the sense that this could be someone... It, it, the issue for them may be an issue of staying balanced. Like this could be someone you're connecting to who is a free spirit. You know, it, it's someone who values, you know, the, they, they don't want to be in a connection that's very demanding of them. But they feel this spiritual pull. Perhaps you both have this interest in spirituality. They like that. Let's get to the random love generated questions and see how this all plays out here. What's the love interest's biggest fear regarding this connection? Ah, the e equilibrium, I feel. Let's see, let's see if I'm right. The hangman. The sun. And the six of swords. They're worried that you may be their soulmate. They're worried that, that they may be thinking more, that, that they, they, they may be building this up too big, that you, you may not be as interested in them as they're making it out to be. That's why they're stagnating. It's kind of like that this... It's like they see you shining. You're, you may be doing something that, that's making you shine to them. Let's clarify this Six of Swords. Like you may be dealing with a Pisces or a Leo. Let's clarify the Six of Swords for you. For them, defense. For you, loyalty. There's something you're, you're moving towards. They see you moving towards something. Perhaps you're moving towards a goal. So that, that's kind of creating this barricade. You know, they, they, they don't know what to expect from you. They're building you up, but it's at the same time, they're, they're trying not to let their feelings cloud their judgment. Let's keep going here. What will happen if you reach out to this love interest in the next two weeks? Yeah, because you are thinking about them. You're thinking about what happened to whatever offer you gave them. So what will happen if you reach out to them in the next two weeks? The star. The moon. And the tower. All these cards are major arcana. This is all fifth dimensional energy.
they will it's like this wish fulfillment that you would shock it it, it would be absolutely shocking if you did you'd probably be shocking yourself here but it's like this wish fulfillment on this mystery that is coming between you like the mystery for them would would result in the wish fulfillment let's clarify this tower for you for them order for you duties yeah Th this may be something that that scares you to do but if you did do it the order would result in this wish fulfillment for them they feel like there's two cards of they, they feel a soul connection the star and the sun soulmate indicators This is something that that's not really on your mind because you are in that energy of the hermit. You're, you're, you're not allowing yourself. But if you did, you're not allowing yourself, be, you'd be walking into a mystery. But for them, the obstacle between you is the mystery. Like they don't know how much you want them. They'd be happy if you did. What does the love or how does the love interest view you at the moment? At the moment that you're watching this, how are they viewing you? Seven of cups. Two of pentacles. And the ten of wands. They, they don't know what option to take. They, they don't know what to say, what to think, what to do. There, there, there's so many things they're looking at, like how, how, like how, how they're, they're trying to find the answers, right? They, they, they're try, trying to figure out what, how, when, whatever. But how the love interest is viewing you right now. They're hoping that, that you do the heavy lifting, that you make this decision to put the weight of this connection onto your shoulders, that you, you, you lift so much that you can't even handle lifting anymore, right? Let's clarify this two of pentacles for them, knowledge for you, virtue. Yeah. That they're hoping that. You have that virtue in you to, to take this onto your shoulders so they don't have to. So that you'll make the decision to tell them what's what. Right? Because they're, they're wondering right now. They're, they're, they don't know what's what. <laughs> How can you get this love interest to like you even more? I like this question. The Magician, the King of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. This is about you leaving the situation that isn't satisfying you. You going towards your satisfaction. And by the Hermit, you know, you your satisfaction comes from them. You sent them an offer. You didn't hear back. This is about you taking the steps out of a situation that, that you are out in the cold. You know, th this is about you expressing your emotions without, without holding anything back. And this person is manifesting you to do this. They want you to express your emotions without holding anything back. Manifestation comes from love. All, all manifestation comes from love. So this person loves you as much as they're capable to manifest you to do this. So if you feel that you can't take it anymore and you just, you need to take action towards them, know that that's, that's coming from their energy. You're, you're both feeling that together. Let's clarify. Clarify this Eight of Cups for you. 
for them. Vagueness for you. Rule. Yeah, it, it's kind of like the, there's a vagueness. Like you, you won't know what, what what's making you want to take action, but it's like this rule. Like you have to take action because where you're at is not is not happy, right? This is th that's coming from this person manifesting. So how you get them to like you even more? They already like you even more. They're making you come to them because they already like you. In the extended, we'll look into what secret came between you in the past. I'm curious about that because why didn't they respond to this? Why? What is this issue that needs to be resolved? So we'll ask what secret came between you in the past. What message does the love interest have for you? Ah, uh -huh. that's a good one. Uh, what does the love interest find most attractive about you? And we'll ask, what's the significance for you having this connection with this love interest? There's a lot of fifth dimensional energy that we saw. So this could be a soulmate thing. All right, the link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love. Thank <music> you.